good morning. It is so early. Um, where are my Words of Mormon verses 1 through 11? Okay, so we're done with the small plates. And Words of Mormon is just bridging the gap from the small plates to the rest of the large plates. Um, so, as we all know, the small plates are to um, supplant, not supplant, but to replace the last 116 pages um a lot of my supplemental has to do with the 116 pages um, but um it's talking about uh verses six and seven where it says and i do this for a wise purpose for the spirit whispers to me that I must, um, in so many words, but it gives what, um, it gives a quote from Elder Jeffrey R. Holland from a book called Christ in the New Covenant, the Messianic Message of the Book of Mormon, and he gives another reason as to why the small plates are used instead of the large plates because of the, not just because the 116 pages were lost but um in doctrine and covenants 1045 the lord declared to joseph smith behold there are many things engraven upon the small plates of nephi which do throw greater views upon my gospel and he also talks about how in the small plates um it's a greater witness um in my studies i don't know if i've talked about this on here before but it talks about establishing it by the voice of three witnesses um by the testimony of two or three witnesses i think i have and how nephi and jacob and isaiah are those three witnesses and they have seen Christ they've seen the pre-mortal Jesus Christ and so he's basically just saying that um, one could argue convincingly that the primary purpose for recording preserving and then translating the small plates of Nephi was to bring forth to the dispensation of the fullness of time the testimony of these three witnesses their writings constitute a full 135 of the 145 pages from the small plates. By the time one has read Nephi, Jacob, and Isaiah in these first pages, a strong foundation has been laid for what Nephi called the doctrine of Christ. It is a foundation com conforming perfectly to the title page of the Book of Mormon. After reading, these three witnesses from the small plates of Nephi, the reader knows two things in bold relief, that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God, and that God will keep his covenants and promises with the remnant of the house of Israel. Those two themes constitute the two principal purposes of the Book of Mormon, and they are precisely the introdu introductory themes addressed by Nephi, Jacob, and Isaiah. So, um, that's a little, a little, little tidbit there for you. Something to think about that we talk about their replacement for the 116 pages, but they also have greater views than those first plates of Nephi. Um, they have greater messages and, you know, people are like, oh, what are the what did those first 116 pages say? What what was on those? Wouldn't it be so great? But he says in here,
he says he says obviously it would be exciting if someone were one day to find those lost 116 pages of the original manuscript of the book of mormon but whatever those pages contain it could not be more important or more fundamental to the purpose of the book of mormon than the teachings of these three prophets recorded in the small plates so it's like um uh what am i trying to say here i'm trying to say that um you know we talk about the 116 pages a lot and the whole story and um you know like well what does it say and what are on those first pages and it's about the kings and the history and all that stuff and yeah it would be interesting but the lord has already provided us with everything that we need to know if we needed to know what those pages said he wouldn't have let martin harris have them you know this is what we need. This is what he's given us. And we don't need to look to something greater. This is all we need. That's what I was trying to say. And then it gives the story of the last 116 pages um, out of the history of Joseph Smith by his mother, Lucy Mack Smith. And um, it's kind of, it was an interesting read. It was just like a page and a half. And um, it talks about when Joseph finds out that the pages are gone. And it's just talking about how mournful everybody was. Just, what does it say? Um, but what could I do to comfort him when he saw all the family in the same situation of mind as himself for sobs and groans and the most bitter lamentations filled the house? However, Joseph was more distressed than the rest as he better understood the consequences of disobedience. Um, we parted with heavy hearts, for it now appeared that all which we had so fondly anticipated and which had been the source of so much secret gratification had in a moment fled and fled forever. So I, I kind of was thinking about that for a minute about um, just the the heartbreaking sadness that came with losing the pages and I mean Joseph of course is just like the most like oh oh crap what have I done you know the Lord's gonna take it away from me we've lost the manuscript we don't have these words anymore we don't have the scriptures anymore what am I gonna do you know he's just the most bitter the the most not bitter but the 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 galls of bitterness as they might say and so is his whole family because they've been anticipating the coming forth of the scriptures as well and they've been enjoying this new found words of God and 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 they're just like it's gone what are we gonna do you know I don't know what I would do that would be a heavy load to bear but anyways I've got to go to work I can talk to you people forever all right. I love you all. I will talk to you later. 